Hi, this is Brian Baron with PlatformEconomyInsights.com, and today's topic is digital services taxes. The reason for the briefing today is because France has enacted a digital services tax targeting larger internet companies, most of which are American. And this week, the United States Trade Representative held a public hearing giving tech companies and trade groups in Washington, D.C. an opportunity to come to the table and voice their objections, of which there are many, to these targeted internet company taxes. Now, it's a complicated topic because digital services taxes are best understood as one aspect of a broader effort to change corporate taxes globally, to be honest, because of concerns that many governments have that they're just not raising enough tax money from big companies. This is not just a concern of governments. This is con a concern of a lot of people who believe that c big companies and rich people don't pay enough taxes. And so I don't often mention it here at PlatformEconomyInsights.com, but I actually have taught a course for five years now at Georgetown Law Center, Georgetown University's law school, on the topic of internet policy and international trade that focuses on the global issues impacting the internet. One of those topics that I focused on over the years is in fact corporate tax reform in the context of the internet. because there is a lot going on and a lot of issues below the surface. A term that really needs to be understood is called BEPS, B-E-P-S. It means base erosion and profit shifting. And it's a concern that some people have that companies shift their profits around from country to country trying to move the profits in an accounting sense into countries either that have low taxes, examples might include Ireland or Switzerland or Luxembourg, or even no taxes on corporate profits. Some of those zero tax countries are Bermuda, uh, jurisdictions like the Isle of Man and others. Now, these efforts by companies have been going on for decades. This is not an internet era phenomenon. This goes back to the 1980s, 1990s. I mean, we're talking decades here. And so the BEPS effort, the base erosion and profit shifting effort, has been going on for many years to try to push back on these corporate activities. Recently, and we're talking about the last five years or so, the focus has increasingly shifted to internet companies and in particular, very large internet companies. I think in part because it is more politically palatable to go after big internet companies because honestly, most of them are US-based companies and therefore when foreign, companies, foreign countries target them, they aren't generally going to hit companies that are based in their own country. And in fact, this is most recently seen by efforts in particular in Europe to target American internet companies. And again, I apologize for the long story here, but I think this is important context. So in particular during 2018, the European Commission, the government of Europe overall, was focused on trying to put together a broad digital services tax to try to increase taxation of the big internet companies that operate in Europe with a focus on having companies pay more taxes in the countries where they have a lot of users. These tend to be countries, the big population countries like Germany, France, the UK, Italy, Spain, as opposed to paying most of their taxes in small population countries in many cases, countries like Ireland and Luxembourg and maybe the Nordic countries. This effort was called digital services tax. At the end of the day, the 18 countries did not come to agreement 
on a digital services tax, and it was put aside. Following on that effort, individual national governments have been pursuing the idea to different degrees. Most noteworthy is France, which this year enacted a 3% digital services tax on the revenue, revenue instead of profits, of internet-based companies that had 750 million euros of revenue globally and at least 25 million euros of revenue in France. The French are proposing to apply a 3% tax on the revenues of the company in France. So in other words, not based on the 750 or beyond number, but based on the revenues in France, a 3% revenue tax. And that tax is retroactive back to January 1, 2019. The UK has also announced or has also implemented a digital services tax. There's a slightly different, but honestly, I think the important point to note is that the UK tax is only 2%. Now, as I mentioned, there was a hearing, it was actually yesterday, uh, at the U.S. Trade Representative's office in Washington, D.C., and it was an opportunity for public comments to be filed by private sector groups. This was mostly companies and trade associations explaining their concerns with the French digital services tax. Now, large internet companies such as uh, Amazon, Google, and Facebook all testified, as did some large trade associations, and their primary objections were that the tax is discriminatory because it targets a kind of company, a kind of digital services internet company, that these companies would argue are not fundamentally different from big businesses overall, many of which use a lot of digital services and components. So it's discriminatory, they believe. They also believe it, it v targets American companies in the way it was structured as opposed to a broad neutral tax when it comes to countries of origin. So it's anti-American. And lastly, there have been concerns about the fact that it targets revenue rather than profits, which is unusual for most corporate taxes around the world. And lastly, the retroactivity back to January these companies, which are obviously some of the largest and most technologically capable in the world, claim that compliance will be really hard because it's so different than other taxes that they pay. So all of these arguments were made yesterday. Um, this is an issue that unites Republicans and Democrats here in the United States in opposition to this tax. Um, not surprisingly, the U.S. government and its leaders believe that the tax is in fact aimed at targeting and taxing American companies in particular. The Europeans and the French would argue that that's not the case. And so that's one of the issues driving this fight. And then lastly, there's the question of how best to address the broader problem. Now, each of the companies testifying are reported to have made the case that instead of one-off national tax changes, that the best way to deal with any kind of digital services tax problem, or maybe better thought of as problems with taxes caused by digitization in the economy, is at multinational forums like the OECD, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, and the G20, the group of 20 nations, both of which are engaged on this problem. And in fact, the OECD is probably considered the leading forum globally on trying to promote tax cooperation. So the OECD this year has put forward an agreement among the member countries, including the United States, about commitment to address digital tax concerns. Now, I think the reason why you see countries like France moving forward is that while there is some degree of consensus that there should be a solution, the devil is truly in the details. Taxes are obviously complicated. And there really is not agreement 
between the United States and many of these other countries as to how to exactly proceed. For example, the United States very much believes that addressing the problem not solely targeted at internet companies, but more broadly at international, multinational businesses is really the way to proceed. While you have other countries pushing very hard at very targeted internet and platform type taxes. So we'll see. But I think this is a good primer to get a sense that this issue is continuing to move onto the front burner because while there is general agreement between governments that something should be done and companies, in particular the giant internet companies, are willing to say in fact that they believe something should be done. That how it's going to be addressed is really still an open question and that the key issues are how broad the taxes will be, how many kinds of businesses they'll actually affect, will they be general corporate tax changes, again, the kind of solution proposed by the U.S., or will they be more targeted internet industry tax solutions, leaving most other kinds of businesses out of the equation? We'll see. As I said, France's tax went into effect this year. Um, it's said to affect 30 uh, companies globally, one of which is French. Ironically, if you, if you look to the internet, it's actually hard to find anywhere a list of the 30. So if you find that list and can send it to me here at PlatformEconomyInsights.com, that'll be much appreciated. I'll keep looking. But essentially, you have a targeted 30-company internet tax that is supposed to be collected this year. And then lastly, there may be retaliation by the United States. Uh, certainly, President Trump has tweeted that he believes retaliation with tariffs is appropriate. You've had other business groups and companies ask for something a little less direct, potentially taking a case to the World Trade Organization, which does look at discriminatory tax policies um, historically. So we'll see about that too. So again, this was Brian Biron with PlatformEconomyInsights.com with an opening primer on the issue of digital services tax base erosion and profit shifting, and what is promising to be maybe years of ongoing fighting over how to increase taxes either on companies in general because they're more digital than ever before or just internet companies, and then maybe just the giant ones or maybe a little bit smaller versions, which of course means that they would bring in more revenue for national governments around the world. With that, thank you for listening in on this briefing. Until the next briefing, this is Brian Biron. Bye-bye.